This is the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. That person you hear in the background is Mr. Jay Brown, Hello. my special guest today on the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Mr. Brown, oh, what's up? Doing? What's up, man? My bad. I had a little vibe in my head, man. My fault. Please, man, go with it. Go with it. Uh, welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Oh, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate yeah, it, man. How you doing, man? You staying safe? Got to, man. Ain't got no choice. So, no choice. Uh, no way around you know, it. Best you get that, that vaccine? Not yet. My number ain't came up yet, but um, right. hopefully soon. What about yourself? Yeah, I've, I've had it now for almost a month and a half. Oh, uh, two the both shots? Both shots. All right. All right. Yeah, uh, I, I work in the healthcare uh, field, so, yeah. Oh, you do? So do I. Out, so do outside I. of music, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, well, yeah, welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, man. I appreciate you coming on. Um, oh, thank you for having me, brother. Yeah, no worries. And um, you got a new single out? Yeah, new single out entitled Vibe, along with my new video, which is on YouTube. Man, y'all check it out. Support me. It's on all downloadable platforms. Uh, support me. I support y'all. I'm an independent artist. I'm out here grinding, trying my best. Just a father out here trying to take care of his kids, you know, so support the that, movement. Man. Exactly. We're going to talk about your new music in just a minute. But uh, for those who don't know Jay Brown, uh, tell us about yourself. So Jay Brown is a young man from Detroit, Michigan, born and raised, you know, uh, grew up, you know, in a, a pretty good, a pretty good family, you know, a uh, preacher's child, you know, so I grew up in the church, obviously, uh, and, you know, into sports, I boxed, uh, football, baseball, those are my main sports. From there, you know, I started to sing, uh, even at practice sometimes, at school, singing to the ladies on the playground. You know, music has always been a part of me, but I've always been involved in something, you know, something that kept me out of trouble. So I'm just a just a young man who, who's out here reaching for the stars, you know. OK, I heard that. Um, now, let's talk about a little bit more about your background. Um, now, you're from Detroit um, and I believe I read in your in your bio that your um, your father is a, a preacher. Yeah, it was past tense. He was. He was. OK. And you're um, you're one of five or the youngest of five siblings. Correct. Yeah. I'm okay. Baby. All right. Um, are any of your siblings in the music business, too, or just you? No, no, they're not in the music. Business. No, none of them. None of them are involved at all. I'm the only one. Okay. I'm the only one in my family who's ever been involved in music. Like my mom, she once had a situation with Smokey Robinson, uh, but she never signed a deal with Motown. So. I'm the only one out of everyone in my family who's had like record deals and has pursued their dreams like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did read that in your profile that your mom uh, was, um, I guess, almost signed to Motown. I guess they were um, going to sign to Smokey Robinson. So my mom, she was signed. Both my mother and my aunts, they were signed to Smokey Robinson and uh, he was developing them uh, and eventually would have taken them to uh, Motown to, uh, to get signed. So, you know, my mom ended up pregnant. Ultimately, the uh, group uh, just picked, not the group didn't dissolve, but that situation dissolved, and uh, that was pretty much it. Oh, okay. Now, growing up, uh, son of a uh, of a preacher, um, were you allowed to listen to, um, I guess, what they call secular music uh, in the home, or was it strictly just gospel? I was allowed to listen to it. You know, my dad never had any issues with me singing or or as some church folks refer to it as serving two masters. My dad never had any issues with that. My dad just wanted me to do what made me comfortable and what made me happy. Uh, so I can honestly say that was a good thing. I really appreciated my dad for that because he never really dictated what I could sing. Even to this day, I sing gospel all the time. You know, God is love. You know, I sing about love. So to me, I'll never look at it as serving two masters or anything like that. It's about doing what I love to do as long as I'm doing something positive, you know? 
Okay. That's, that's the main thing. All right. My dad was all for it, though. No issues. Okay. When did you decide that you wanted to uh, to do music? I guess it's maybe just in your blood with your mom. or When did you decide this is what I want? I, I think I just decided when I was sitting, maybe seven years old in the playground, oh. I was singing to all the girls and I would notice, you know, the reaction. They all would line up or I would circle around me and I would sing to them. And then some of my childhood friends, they would join in and sing with me. And, you know, all the girls just always enjoyed it, you know, so... I saw from that, like, man, I can get girls, you know, like, oh, this is this is what's this is what's gonna happen, you know. I'm gonna keep doing it, keep doing it until I finally get the one girl who I really like, which I ended up getting her. Her name was Brandy Bowler. I never forget that. That was in like first, second grade. And then um from there I said, Oh, I can get women. But then as the years went by, I'm like, okay, this is something I really enjoy doing. It's not just about getting women, it's about doing something that makes me feel happy. And that's how it happened. Okay. Um, now we were talking um, um, before we started recording. Um, you're actually, uh, even though you're from Detroit, you're actually in the Bay Area now. Yeah, correct. Yeah. How did you Bay uh, Area stand up? <laughs> how did you, or why did you make the move to, uh, uh, I guess, cross the country to the left coast? I mean, you know, just something different. You know, life is life. You know, so. I'm here, you know, I didn't think I'd like it at first, but it's honestly kind of similar to Detroit. They listen to Detroit music. Mm-hmm. They have a similar sound. Uh, you know, it's, you know, it's not that much of a difference. Uh, geographically, you know, obviously it's far, but in terms of like the culture and things, it's pretty much the same. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming the Bay Area has a little bit more better weather. Than, uh, than Detroit? Yeah, most definitely, which is why I haven't been back to Detroit in maybe <laughs> two years. <laughs> is that right? And the timing of everything has just been off. So I'm planning on going back, though, because I'm working on my new EP, my sophomore EP, which will be out in uh, mid to late April. Uh, it'll be uh, a different sound, you know, a more modern sound. So I'm working on that right now, along with a few of my homeboys out in Detroit. So I'll be going back and forth uh, quite often. Okay. Until the EP's finished. All right. And speaking of the EP now, I understand that your latest single, Vibe, that's going to be part of the new EP. Oh, most definitely. Y'all got a vibe with me, man. I love Vibe. Vibe is, it's a different record. It's a groovy record. So for all my people who love that groove type sound or who love to just have fun or who loves just R&B or feel good music as some people refer to it as, you would definitely enjoy this record, you know, even for my steppers out there, Chicago, Detroit, I know what I'm talking about. So it's, it's just a feel good record. Um, a record that could potentially go viral if, if the right challenge were made up to it, you know? So, Hey man, that's an idea. Well, y'all just vibe with me, man. That's the new single. On yeah, all I, downloadable platforms. Yeah. I had a chance to hear it a couple of days ago and, uh, it's definitely, um, it sounds like a, uh, a throwback to, uh, maybe the, um, Maybe the eighties, um, nineties. Um, but yeah, it definitely sure. has a, definitely has that that feel to it. Um, exactly. Talk to us about the talk to us about that song because um, is that a song that you wrote yourself or? How did no, it was a about? collaborative effort. You know, my team and I we all um, contributed to the record, uh, and you know, it's just something that we we connected with at that moment in time, it, and you know, we came up with it. And, out of like, uh, I think maybe five to six records, we decided to go with that one. Well, I decided to go with that one and we put it out. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's definitely, uh, I think it's definitely a winner. Um, we'll continue our episode after this message. Are you looking for a reliable way to transfer money to family and friends? Check out the Cash App. It's safe, easy, and convenient. Just download the app from the Apple or Google Play Store and start receiving and sending money in a few minutes. Sign up today and receive $5. And don't forget to use our referral code, BGRCWQX. Swag at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com. Now, back to our conversation. Now, yeah, your previous uh, music or your previous uh, single, uh, I read, um, actually charted in the top 10 in the Billboard R&B singles. Yes. Yep. Sunrise, sunset, give it to you. Moon. They've all charted. It's just been a huge blessing. Like people, 
people like they really enjoy the style of music I'm doing. But you know, um, you know, we just I'm just trying my best to just climb up that ladder, you know. Right. People have been receptive and you know, I'm highly, highly appreciative of all the support I've been receiving. And I'm just gonna continue to put it out, you know. Yeah. Whether I chart on the billboards or not, I'm gonna keep putting it out because the world is so huge and with the internet now, it's just like there's it's you're unstoppable in a sense. As long as you believe, as long as you have the you know, the tenacity, the drive. Continue the progression. You you can't fail. You know. I agree. Now you said that the upcoming EP that's going to be released uh, later this year is going to be different. How is that going to be different than the previous stuff that you put out? It's just going to be more so what I've what I've grown up on stuff that I've always like. The way I'm singing right now is something new. You know, this is like something I'm just venturing out and trying. You know, but my my style prior to this was more of a street type R and B. You know, it was more of a uh, me singing about things that were relatable to me. Which the songs I'm singing about now are relatable to me, but it's just a different side uh, of what I what I've what I've done in the past. You know, so I'm just showing people what I've always done, but I'm just basically revealing it. You know, to people at this point. You know, so they'll just see just a different side. You know, it's going to be a completely different feel. Okay. Um, now, we mentioned your success um, earlier uh, with uh, Billboard. Um, how do you anticipate? Well, let me ask you. Um, Vibe has already been out. I think it's been out, what, a few weeks now? Or Yeah, I think, yeah, maybe like two weeks. But it just, which it was the most, the second most added record to radio, which mm. is a huge blessing. Thank praises be to the most high. Uh, it was the second most added song to radio four days ago, mm. and it it's it debuted at number twenty nine, which is crazy. So I think it's out of a hundred or maybe two hundred. So it debuted at twenty nine, which is really crazy. So um, yeah, you know, radio maybe a few days ago, but in terms of like the video, we dropped it like two weeks ago. Okay, all right. Well, congratulations, man. Um, Thank you, you're doing something right now. You said you are a independent artist. Yep. All right. I am. Is that difficult being an independent artist? And I would imagine with the internet, it's it's probably not as difficult as it once was. Um, but what's your experience like just being an independent artist? My experience, I mean, you know, I'm independent. You know, it's not as, you know, I don't feel like I'm in a headlock, so to speak. You know, uh, I mean, ultimately, my goal is to sign to a major, but under under my under my own record label, you know, which is uh, I have a collaboration right now with Mocha Music, but my own personal record label is Wave Music, you know. So that's 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 the whole goal to sign, you know, uh, as a businessman, sign under my own creation, you know. So um, eventually, I'll sign to a major because independent being independent means you control a lot, and if you decide to do a distribution with a label. That means they'll get a percentage, but they won't get the bulk of what you're what you're making versus you signing directly to them. So being independent is extremely imperative, especially if you're doing enough things on your own. Right. Let me let me stress say that again. If you're doing enough things on your own that are right. There's no way that a record label would pass up on you. It doesn't even matter what your numbers are looking like. It's all about is this dude or is this woman a star? Could I make money if we put together the package the right way? That's all it's about. Mm -hmm. But if they feel like, okay, he needs us, she needs us, we'll do this. We'll invest a little bit of something. And if it goes wrong, tax right off. I mean, that's how it goes. You know, that's just the name of the game. But if you're doing something that people obviously want and they know that people are gravitating towards, I'm telling you, the independent lane is, lane is the way, you know. Okay. And then you have enough leverage to kind of make your own move. It's chess, man, not checkers. All y'all remember that. Okay. Chess. How, how long have you? Uh, how long have you been in the? <laughs> and so I've been in the business for man, eighteen years, nineteen. Oh. Yeah. It's a grind. It don't happen overnight, y'all. Remember that. It's it's a grind. Like everyone, you got to put in that work, put in that work. No matter what, no one tells you. As cliche as that may sound, no matter what, no one tells you. Just put in the work. I'm telling you, it will help. It will help eventually. 
All right. Um, well, wise words indeed. Now, um, you said April, you're going to drop the EP work because of the, um, the pandemic that we're in. Was that delayed somewhat or um, what's been the impact or has there been an impact uh, with uh, uh, COVID, COVID-19? No, that I mean, the only impact has been like, you know, me not being able to physically, you know, perform in person, which I really enjoy doing. But, oh, you know, and that's that's like the main thing, because the records are still moving. Um, we're still we're still seeing, you know, still 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 seeing a, a considerable amount of traffic as it relates to people, you know, supporting me. And it's just a grind, you know. But I think the pandemic was just an eye opener. It was an eye opener, a moment of reflection, if you will. You know, just something for us just to, <clears throat> excuse me, something for us to just take take all in and just turn that that negative into a positive. You know, hopefully some people thought that way because for me, it, it fueled me just to go above and beyond. You know. Okay. Fantastic. You know? Um, now, um, how can people reach out to you on uh, social media? Are you, you can reach out to me directly. Just DM me. I'm cool, people. I follow back. I communicate with people. I support just like I want support, you know. Uh, you know, but just just hit me up. J Brown Music only on Instagram, as well as Twitter. Music by J Brown on YouTube and uh, music by jbrown.com. No, jbrownmusiconly.com. It's probably one of those two. I've been doing so many interviews today. You got to forgive me. But... Uh, but yeah, no, it's I have a lot of stuff, you know, going on in the works. And um, it would be great if you guys supported me because I definitely support you back. So hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I'll definitely talk to you and we can chop it up. All right. And we'll also post uh, Jay's uh, social media uh, connections on our website and also in the show notes on um, on this video. Um, now, for 2021, I know it might be too early, I guess, to start maybe planning touring. Are you anticipating maybe getting out there this year if um, everything works? Yeah, out? my book, my booking agent, he's 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 uh, mentioned on a few occasions that he foresees it happening like late summer, mm. early fall. So hopefully by the end something happens because I desperately, I mean desperately, not like because I'm like financially hurting, even though this has taken a toll on a lot of artists. I mean, a major toll. I ain't too afraid to admit that. I ain't, in fact, I ain't afraid at all, but it is it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So we got to get back out there, man. This is how we feed our families. This is how we take care of ourselves. Just like everyone has to work. It's a part of life. You know, yeah. so hopefully it does happen this year. I hope so too, man. Uh, that's one thing I really miss is uh, going to concerts. <clears throat> uh, nothing quite like it. Um, so hopefully exactly. 2021, you know, we want to get vaccinated and we can get this get this thing going again. 2020, it just kind of like, kind of just threw that one out, but. Yeah, way out the window. You know what I mean? So, yeah. The worst year ever. Well, not ever, but the worst year. One of the worst yeah, years. It was pretty close, man. It was pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Um, Jay, anything else you want to add, sir, before we uh, cut this loose? I know you're a little pressed for time. No, I, you know what? I just want to say thank you, man. I appreciate your time. Uh, you know, support this brother. I, I appreciate people who are independently trying to make it happen. And uh, so I, I applaud you, you know, for w doing what you do. Uh, and, you know, like I said, support me. I support you. Everybody support everybody. You know, support black businesses. Let's just let's stay connected. And, um, yeah, stay, stay uh, practicing social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right. Well, Mr. J. Brown, I really appreciate you taking the time, sir. Finally, glad. Kind of, finally, we got a time. Uh, finally, I'm glad we got a time to talk. Uh, but I appreciate well, you. You and I both. It won't be the last, man. As long as yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. We're going to continue to chop it up. You make absolutely. sure you follow me, too, bro. You on Instagram? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to follow okay. you right now, man. My man. I, I saw you know I'm going to follow you back. I saw your video. Um, um, couple of days ago and uh five with you, five with yeah you. <laughs> where was that filmed at yo it was wait what made you ask that I, I gotta, gotta ask that yeah it was in it was in a it was in a club setting 
And uh, was that in the Close. Bay? Was that in L.A.? Was it in Detroit? No. No. You're wrong, bro. Where it was, was that? In Arizona. At my manager's house. Wow. That was his backyard, swimming pool. That was at his house. All oh, of okay. it. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's crazy, right? I would have never guessed that, but okay. No. Nope. Nope. That was yeah. at his spot. All right, well, go check out Jay's uh, video on YouTube, Vibe. Um, do you have, Please, a, you have a YouTube channel too, right? Yeah, um, the YouTube is um, Music by Jay Brown. All right. Music by Jay Brown. Or just, if you type in Jay Brown, like Vibe, Moon, Sunrise, Sunset, I'll come up, you know. And please subscribe. Everyone, please subscribe. I'm independent. I need those subscribers. So please subscribe. I ain't begging, but I'm begging, if you know what I mean. <laughs> all right. Like I said, we'll put all Jay's information um, on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com and also uh, in the show notes of this video. Mr. Brown, I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you too, man. I appreciate all you guys too watching. So let's support each other. Exactly. Peace and Absolutely. love. Absolutely. Jay Brown on the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, and we'll be right back. Peace. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Mr. Jay Brown. You can check out more about Jay on his social media sites. We'll have the links uh, on the show notes and also on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and Pandora. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Don't forget to check out all our merch at the soul shop at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.